What's up guys? My name's Olivia, also known as Jetlag Live, and welcome to, or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Olivia, and I'm a travel and lifestyle content creator, both here on YouTube and Instagram. So go follow me over there if you haven't yet. Why am I on the floor? You may be asking. Okay. <laughs> I've got the mother of all messes to create today in preparation for packing my carry-on for two months. Yeah, I'm going to be living out of a carry-on suitcase for two months while I'm gallivanting all around Europe with my boyfriend Seth. Um, you can follow him on IG as well. We're going to be documenting all of our Greek and Italian adventures this summer going into fall, obviously two months. So um, we're going to carry just a suitcase, a carry-on suitcase, um, and cramp everything we need to, everything we need, everything we think we need, um, all in there. And of course, clothing that brands have sent me that I need to shoot, clothing that I've just been saving for my, my Mediterranean summer that I've always dreamed about. I've got to pack those, and I'm looking over here in my closet, and I'm like, say a little prayer for me. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I've got some tricks, I got some tips. We're gonna we're gonna travel hack to the max and get the suitcase packed. So enough rambling, let's get right into the video. Alright, so what I'm gonna be packing today is this Manos Carry On Plus suitcase we all know and love. You've seen it um, reviewed on my channel. This bag is so freaking cute, but anyway. Besides that, it actually is very organized on the inside and can hold a lot. Now I know these luggage, these carry-on size suitcases, they look intimidatingly small, but fear not, I'm here to encourage you and show you that you can pack a lot more than you think you can. I believe in you. Even if you don't believe in you, I believe in you. Um, but you don't care about the suitcase. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm gonna use to help aid in packing this some compression packing cubes. Very important and need I say, necessary. Um, these are also from the same brand as the suitcase. You don't have to get these. These are really, really expensive. I'll find a comparable link for Amazon, probably a third of the price, Not, no, no cap. Um, but they sent me these, so let's, let's give them a shot. Okay, <laughs> I just gathered pretty much all of the clothes and I'll show you exactly what I'm bringing. I bring this hat right here and my little favorite bucket hat. I've got this long sleeve baby doll dress, jean shorts, another pair of jean shorts, these trousers, bandeau top, just some high-waisted shorts, tank top, tank top, more like a lounge top, similar to this, which I'll also be bringing. Um, like I said, some things are not here right now. I also am doing a load of wash but it's not going to be substantially more to where I would need another storage cube or anything like that. I'm packing within the means and everything else that I have will also fit in accordingly. So we've got two pairs of shorts, a yellow carpenter short and a light wash carpenter short. We've got a deodorant stained tank built-in camisole. This will work for hiking as well as just like going out because you can dress it up, dress it down. I'm also bringing one in white. Nice little linen short sleeve button up long sleeve gauze top, black tank. My mom found this at Goodwill, it's an anthropology top. I thought it was super like posh, so I figured I'd bring it. This wrap top, bringing my three Shein dresses. This tank, I'm bringing this long tunic type cover up. I this white bodysuit, this one. So there's this dress where you tie here and it buttons up, super cute. Um, I'm wearing this lemon dress. Need I say more? No. Um, and then lastly, I'm bringing one of my favorite dresses. That about does it. Oh, I forgot. One crucial thing, one sec. My swimsuit, duh, so I got my bucket out. Um, I am shooting, I'm shooting some suits for a company, so that's one of them. Yeah. This one, I definitely think I should bring this. Yeah, give me white. This one with the matching sarong. Maybe I bring this one piece. I might bring this one as well. So look at that. <laughs> look at that size. Yeah, definitely look into like ones that compress. 
It's gonna be so awesome. All right, let's do it. So for this, there's no really rhyme or reason. I just kind of pack the corners first. Um, be mindful of ones that have hard wires in them, like the uh, the tops for swimsuits, because um, you don't want to bend those. So kind of make sure they go with the curve of the compression bag or curve of the suitcase, just to kind of you know preserve. Because I know some of them have that underwire. Okay, I grabbed a couple more. Um, this purple one, I think she's cute. And then a high-waisted white one. Mega! Okay. Um, Y'all know with purse packing, I like to roll my clothes. It helps like helps them be less wrinkled, but I always, always bring my um, downy wrinkle releaser with me on trips. I have a little travel size. Pick that up in Target. Um, but I like to roll them just so that they can kind of. Um, so another tip I have for you is if you do want to just kind of cram these in, um, you can do that. But um, if you have things like this, I know is going to be a wrinkled mess as soon as I unpack it. If you take a hot shower and hang your clothing in the bathroom, the steam from the shower will loosen up all the wrinkles, almost as if it's like a steamer. So it's a nice little hack. I'm not sure if you guys knew to do that, but this cute scarf that I got from Amazon um, it was eight bucks and you can wear it as a top you can wear it as sun coverage and you can also wear it as a bandana um, for a little red riding hood moment Um, this shirt is unbelievably thick though. I don't think I have enough room. I barely have enough room as it is. Okay, so what we're left with is this top, this bodysuit, and this cover up. So, I will put those with my bras, underwear, and um, obviously my, um, like my socks. I'm bringing one pair of tennis shoe and two pairs of sandals slash, um, I might bring kitten heels, I'm not sure. All right, so the best part here, and we move everything out of the way, let's start assembling, which is the most fun. Um, let me go grab my bras and underwear, stick them in here, and let's fill this sucker up. All right, so I've got about six pairs of underwear, three pairs of socks. I'll be wearing one of the other two, um, but that's just because I literally, my socks are, I think from 2017. I need new socks, whatever. Um, anyway, uh, I got my underwear in here, my bras. I ended up packing two and then I'm gonna wear one. Um, and a lot of these I don't 
wear bras with, like the clothing that I'm packing. So that is all of that. So let's get to the fun part now. Let's assemble. It's to the fun part. So let me put the biggest one in first. Holy smoky bears, that's heavy. All right, and then it's kind of, honestly, it's just like Tetris at this point. And then I can fit one in here. Um, that space is pretty specific. I do need to bring the dome for our GoPro and hats. Um, but let me go ahead. I need um, a mask as well. We're gonna be going to the beach, so. That's gotta be in there. And let me fit some of these spare clothing items in here. So this is this tunic that I wanna bring. Pack this in here with that. And then my bodysuit, which probably could fit in one of these, um, but I just forgot to try to get it to fit in there. And then this guy, flat and let me try and get my dome to fit in here you kind of got to get like leverage on some of these things now I don't know that this is gonna close but let's give her a try let's put this guy in damn that thing is like a rock that's hilarious um and then this one too do these like shrink down any? I too, I packed too big. Um, let me get these kind of in together. I got my toiletry bag, which will probably go right here. It's gonna be stuffed, so it'll probably sit like that. But um, and then I also have my makeup, which could either sit on top or sit in this little. I think I want to sit on top because I don't want it to get crushed up in there. Doesn't fit. So one thing that I'm going to do all these hangers Yikes. is I'm gonna take out one to two things per each bag that way it's like leveled out and I don't end up with 45 shirts and two pairs of shorts you know what I mean I think I'm gonna eliminate as well as this posh top um, and just because I'm not um this top right here because I'm not bringing it doesn't mean I can't wear it to the airport. So that's still an option. Now see, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this because I have a long sleeve that I can wear over one of these short dresses because that's short as well. I'm gonna just get over not having enough swimsuits even though I, I'm just kidding, I'm fine. We'll get rid of that one. And we'll get rid of this one. Yes, it does look like a bomb went off. However, I eliminated one pair of shorts. So sad about that, TBH. Um, but anyway, um, I figured out a way to get this to fit. This should compress pretty evenly and pretty well. Like I said, we got a little, we'll call it an insurance pouch right there for uh, whatever else I have most likely forgotten. That's just how it is, no big deal. And we'll pack this down, and I think this will close this time. Let's see. Ladies and germs, we did it. Look at that puppy right there. It does look like a bomb went off, however, we did it. I was able to fit <laughs> a ridiculous amount of clothes in here, um, which normally I I have never done. I don't bring an exorbitant amount of clothes like this to most trips that I go on. However, we're gonna be there for two months and I'm a content creator, right? So I say that I can't be in a red shirt in every photo, you know, for like, to change it up a little bit, but I easily could. Um, but I, truth be told, I do love all the outfits that I packed and I'm very excited to shoot them um, and just be inspired by my surroundings. Quick recap, I do have some things that are missing, which is mostly 
pajamas um, or like, we'll say like, I'm gonna say lounge clothes, but not like athleisure. Um, I'm missing a tank top, a pair of shorts for, for certain, but I can fit it in that little insurance pouch that we talked about. So that's a pro tip. Make sure you pack a little insurance pouch in your um, carry-on because you'll be getting ready the day of your flight and you'll be like, oh my God, I forgot that, da, 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 da. and then boom, you've got an insurance pouch. Um, I do feel some maybe hollow areas where I can cram little things in if I forget. But you guys, that is what I'm bringing to Europe. Um, apart from also, like I said, the toiletries, but you know the drill. I keep it very basic. Shampoo and conditioner and little travel size bottles because this is a carry-on. It has to abide by TSA rules. Um, but also, um, when we run out of shampoo, we can just purchase it at the local stores there in Greece or in Italy, uh, wherever we are. Um, that's one of the good things about we can purchase deodorant if we run out, we can purchase toothpaste if we run out, you know, the things that everybody uses, um, we can easily purchase if we forget. So um, I didn't feel necessary to show you guys that, plus I don't have all that ready and I wanted to get this video up. Um, for this weekend and show you guys all of the goodies that I'm bringing to Greece and pretty much give you my tips and tricks, you know, use storage cubes um, or sorry, package cubes, packing, why can't I speak? Use packing cubes, um, you know, plan strategically, picture your outfits. A lot of these I can mix and match, those shorts I would wear with a lot of different shirts that I brought. Um, but. I am so beyond excited for this trip. I'm so excited to be whipping my cute little suitcase around. Um, a lot of you commented on that video and were like, what do you think about it still? And I was like, well, because of COVID, I had not been on a trip with this since I got it. So this will be my first um, international debut with this bag, which I'm super excited about. But if you got anything, any good vibes, give this video a big fat thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Oh God, about six hours later and I am done. I'm packed. I'm ready to hit the road and go see the wonders of Greece and Italy. Make sure you subscribe if you want to join along on the journey. I'm going to be making so many videos, so many vlogs from daily life experiences abroad to once in a lifetime experiences abroad. So I'm really excited to share that with you. Thank you for being here as always. Comment down below whatever you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!